What's going on guys, Tyler here from TJ Cards and welcome to today's video. We all know how difficult it is these days to find product at retail pricing. So in this video, I wanted to address that problem by going over a list of my favorite places to go and try to find some sports cards. And also some other places that I can't personally get cards at but we know for a fact carry cards. And that way you all could look at the stores near you and see if maybe just possibly there might be a way for you guys to actually get sports cards in person and not paying astronomical aftermarket prices. I hope this video helps and make sure you guys stay tuned because at some point in this video, I will be announcing our 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you guys so much for helping me make that happen, and I hope you enjoy the video. So the first place that I want to talk about here was Target.com. In my opinion, this is the number one way to get retail sports cards, and I'm gonna show you why. Every week, Target releases sports cards exclusively on their website. They do not carry cards in store as of now. So the way to get there is go to their website here, click on Categories in the top left corner, and then you're gonna go down to Toys. In this toys drop down, there's a little feature tab here called the collector spot. You'll click that and then choose trading cards. This is their trading cards area on their website, okay? Uh, now there is a trick here because a lot of the stuff on this page is not actually sold by Target, it's sold by third parties. Uh, so you're gonna, what you're gonna wanna do is find the Target exclusive cards and you can do that by going to the sold by filter and choosing Target. So all of the cards here are now exclusively sold by Target. Um, as you'll see, as of now, there's only, you know, Sage, some Pokemon, actually some pretty decent Pokemon products here like Shining Fates and Vivid Voltage up on their website still in stock. Um, but you won't, won't really see sports cards outside of certain days. You can go to include out of stock to kind of see what they have here. And then you can sort by newest as well to see when they're starting to load things in here. So you can see the newest magic box, Modern Horizons, is now loaded on the website. Now, every week, Target.com will release sports cards, typically on Thursday or Friday, and that release will happen around 5.30 in the morning, Central Standard Time. So if you're up for the challenge, you can go onto this page, choose the filters that I just selected, refresh the page, and you'll start to see the products load into the Out of Stock tab first. And after a few minutes, they'll release that stock live, and you can click on that, Add to Cart, and usually you can choose up to 10 of each product and that's why I think that getting sports cards this way is superior because you can maximize the amount of product you're able to purchase without actually having to leave your home and I really like that now you could always go into the Target store itself you never know what you might find as we know now Target does carry trading cards in the store so if you're into Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh or magic then you will be able to find those products on the shelf now depending on the target near you you might also be able to find some alternate sports such as hockey UFC and soccer on the shelf as well. They just do not sell baseball, football, and basketball in the stores. So if you're passing by a Target, it may be worth the stop to see what they have on the shelf and see if there's anything there that might interest you. Now, next on my list for best retail stores to get your cards at is Walmart. Now, Walmart will heavily vary throughout the country depending on the stores near you because every single store seems to have their own set of rules when it comes to selling cards. But if you're able to narrow down the day or two that they stock, then you'll have very good luck in scoring some product. So if I were you, make sure to go to your local Walmart, walk in, try to figure out when they stock, and you may just run into that vendor at one point. Next on the list is a store that has been rising in popularity and grabbing cards from, and that that is Barnes and Noble bookstores. You heard me right, Barnes and Nobles. Now they hold their cards behind the cashier most of the time and they always have a limit. So if you have a Barnes and Noble near you, I highly suggest showing up. As you can see in this clip, I did go here while I was filming this video and they still had a bunch of product there and I was actually able to purchase some for myself even though I had no intentions of even running into any product as I was filming this. Barnes & Noble has become popular because of both its limits and they do also carry those popular cards most recently being Prism, Select, and Chronicles. If you're feeling hungry and want to get some cards at the same time, the number four on this list is for you and that is the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. At the store personally, I've been able to see hockey, Pokemon, and baseball, and I've also heard other people tell me that they were able to find other cards such as optic football cellos and NBA hoop cellos and stuff like that. So if you live near one of these and you're hungry and you wanna go check out the store, make sure to drop in and see if they have any cards. Number five on this list is another major chain that I was actually able to find some product at today while filming, and that is Big Lots. Big Lots is one of those stores that I've been able to find product at multiple times However, they only really carry cellos, but that doesn't mean that they're not valuable. So I have been able to find cellos of Prism 
NBA hoops. And of course, they also have other products like you see in this video, and that is Heritage Baseball and Score Football. But you never know what you might be able to find there, so make sure to put this on your list of stores to stop at. Number six on our list is more for our trading card game collectors like Pokemon, because personally, I've never actually seen sports cards in Hobby Lobby, but I have, however, seen Pokemon. Now, in this clip, you'll notice that I didn't go in because it is Sunday, Hobby Lobby was closed, but you never know what you might find in that toy section. So next time you're at Hobby Lobby, make sure to drop by that toy aisle and see if you can find any cards on the wall. The next two stores are known for having value cards that are in the $1 gravity feeds and that is the Dollar Tree and Five Below. These two stores have been known to carry pretty valuable products such as Donruss Basketball, NBA Hoops, among others. I personally wasn't able to find anything like that today, but I do highly recommend that you guys check out your local stores and see if you can get more lucky than I was. The last three stores I'm going to mention here are Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy, and Rite Aid. All three of these stores exclusively carry cello packs for your products. But we have seen some really good stuff like Prism, Contenders, Top Series 1 and 2, Pokemon, and Walgreens has these really cool mystery packs called the Prime Packs that you can pick up. Depending on the time of the year, these Prime Packs can sometimes contain really good packs like Optic and Prism. So if you're a gambler like me and want to pick one of these up, I suggest you do. Just don't get mad at me when you don't get anything. <laughs> Now I do want to also give a special mention to our local card shops because you might be able to find retail there as well. However, the more than likely they'll be a little bit marked up. So if a blaster costs 20, you might find it there for 35. But if you're into hobby boxes, then your local card shops are the way to go and usually have very good comps. Now, obviously there are plenty of other stores across the nation that I didn't mention in this list. I am only mentioning the stores that are near me. So if you want to add on to this list, make sure to go down to that comment section and let me know where else you might be able to find cards at. I'd love to see what you guys have to say and I'm sure the other viewers here would love to know other stores near them that they might be able to check out. I really hope that this information helped you guys and if you guys did end up going to any of these stores and finding any product after watching this video please feel free to let me know down in the comment section below or even better join the discord link in the description and let us all know in there. But without further ado I want to announce our 2,000 subscriber giveaway again thank you guys so much for making this a reality we hit 2,000 subscribers in four months of this channel being being up and running. I truly can't appreciate it enough of all your guys' support, the likes, the comments, the shares, the everything. Thank you guys again. So as my way of saying thanks, I'm going to be doing one giveaway with two products to two subscribers. So first requirement, you have to be subscribed to this channel. Second requirement, you have to like this video. And last but not least, you just have to leave a comment in this video. It doesn't have to say anything specific. Just leave a comment in this video and you will be automatically entered into the contest so long as you're subscribed and you have liked the video. So first, what we're going to do is our runner up product here that I'll be giving away is a sealed blaster box of Panini Contenders 21 draft picks. Uh, this product is awesome sometimes. <laughs> I've opened plenty of hobby of this product and gotten some pretty sweet autos. So this blaster box does come with one guaranteed autograph. So that is the runner up prize. And for our grand prize for this giveaway, I will be giving away a cello pack of a 2019 NBA Hoops premium stock. Again, to be eligible for either of these products, make sure that you guys, all you have to do, be subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment saying anything down in the section below to enter. I will be announcing the winner in our next Monday's video, so you have exactly one week to enter, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go down to that section below and smash that like button, guys. I appreciate it so much, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.